When Dickie Greenleaf gives you his attention, it's like the sun shines on you. Jude Law, who played Dickie in 1999's The Talented Mr. Ripley, is turning his beams toward the latest adaptation of Patricia Highsmith's novel, Netflix's Ripley. I've watched at least five or six of the episodes, he tells Entertainment Weekly. Like any great source material, it's really rewarding and interesting to watch something from a new perspective, a new angle. Law earned an Oscar nomination for his portrayal of the spoiled millionaire playboy in Anthony Mingelis' adaptation of the tale of con artist Tom Ripley, Matt Damon. Now, 25 years later, he's loving Steven Zalian's extremely unique take on the material. Steve Zalian's, in many ways, couldn't be further from Anthony's, he reflects. It's very interesting to see what scenes and threads still come to the surface, even if they are very different stylistically and in their pacing. I'm enjoying it, he continues. How can one not? It's such great material. You're in great hands with wonderful actors, and it's such an interesting character. Both versions reflect the director in many ways. One is visual, colorful, and romantic. The other is quite forensic and more sinister. Film, to me, often reflects the person at the helm of the camera. The narrative arc in both versions of the Tom Ripley story is quite similar, but as Law points out, Mingela's film is lush and romantic compared to Zalian's black-and-white neo-noir approach. That hasn't stopped the project from stirring up a lot of emotions in Law. I haven't watched the one I'm in in many, many years, he adds. So, it was funny how many of the scenes are similar and kicked up so many memories in my mind, and how well I knew it. I kept thinking, oh God, I remember this. Down to the name of Dickie's maid, Ermelinda. I always remember saying, Ermelinda, Ermelinda. There was an emotional level, too, to revisiting those characters. Ripley is now streaming on Netflix.